Om Shanti, welcome back. Now we are doing the recording of 21st of September's oil blessing. Yes, Supreme Father wants us to become merciful and also transform the world with the help of our vibrations or energies which can be sent in a very pure manner. That is what we are going to explore over here. So let's see what does God have to say. He says, may you become master merciful and transform the world of sorrow and suffering by enabling your feeling of mercy to emerge. Now, when we have a feeling of mercy emerging from ourselves, when we are not just thinking about I, me, myself, that's where the healing happens. That's where the self-healing happens. That's where we feel that, yes, now my heart is open to heal others and I'm ready to accept anything that comes in my life. This is a very great place to start from. This is a very first step which we need to take in our life to become merciful so that our heart chakra opens up or our feeling chakra opens up and we are just not thinking from our head all the time and we have started using a balance of head and heart. Now obviously our head has been used for a very long time that means our intellect is being used for a very long time so feelings have subdued, have gone down, have become you can say dormant. So now we need to awaken those feelings. So Kautia says when souls are crying out in upheaval of nature, nature could mean any kind of natural calamity and asking for mercy listen to the call and that we can do when we are in getting up early in the morning at four o'clock at Amritvela. listen to the call and let your merciful form emerge it's not about crying for them it's about having good wishes good thoughts sending them power sending them peace sending them joy happiness even though everything around is not in the right place. Then God says, in order to transform the world of sorrow and suffering, make yourself complete. That means if I have got hatred or I have just quarreled with somebody, I have just slept the previous night with agitation and I am getting up in the next morning and I am sending vibrations of peace, what do you think is going to go over there? Exactly. So that's why I need to be in a state where I am peaceful, I am powerful and I am facing my own troubles and tribulations in peace and happiness and harmony and then I am ready to send it to others. The power to face things. And God says, intensify your good wishes for transformation. Just thinking about self, using it for self is not important but sending it to others is more important. When you become complete, this world of sorrow will end. Therefore, let your feelings of mercy emerge for yourself and for all the souls of the world. See, mercy emerge for ourselves. That means until and unless I leave or get rid of the anger, the ego, the jealousy, the hurts, the blame, the criticism. If I don't get rid of this, my heart is not going to heal. That means my feelings are not going to heal, not the physical heart. My feelings are not going to heal and when my feelings are not healed, automatically there is going to be a disturbance, there is not going to be a coherence, there is not going to be a complete balance between the mind and the feelings. Therefore, let your feelings of mercy emerge for yourself and for all souls of the world. Where there is mercy, there will not be any fluctuation of yours and mind. Automatically, the heart will be open, the heart chakra will be active and we will be able to think for everybody. It's not going to be with that, my house, how will I allow them? my way mm -hmm, i cannot adjust with them no all those things will go back and you'll be more focused on being merciful now how do you activate that is what we learn in brahma kumaris with the meditation where we the souls get connected to the highest soul or the supreme soul or god or the originator of love or the one who can open your chakras how do you do that is what we learn in brahma kumaris you're most welcome to learn this art with this om shanti